There's a beauty to this world. An order. A grand design. We made sure of that. It was a dream for so long, and we finally made it real. The world is ours. Not a better world, a perfect one. Each season, they somehow just make it bigger and crazier. And I think this season is the wildest one yet. In episode four, the very opening scene takes place at this lighthouse. They have come to destroy this last node of information. We looked at this lighthouse down in Cabo, and it was just spectacular on the ocean, and it was just the ideal place to shoot this scene. This lighthouse had been there for 100 years or more. We couldn't hurt it, so we had to do some soft explosions inside, ratchet pulling, stunt people out of it. So we came up with a nice combination of soft debris, dust, and concrete like the buildings look like, and safely were able to give the illusion that it was blowing up without hurting the building. Some of the largest effects that we have this season, one of them would be the glass exploding from the hail towers. And we went through and scanned all the rooms to where we'll be tracking the glass in, and we can use this to help us track in for the CG glass blow. That's a mixture of practical special effects and CG elements. Glass is always tricky in visual effects. It's really fun to be able to keep pushing the technology forward and not be as afraid as we used to be. The parasite is in me. Once the parasite affects and infects the human brain, it serves to make the human brain susceptible to these cues and signals that she gives them through sound. And that's where the transmission sound structures come into play. We knew very early on that they wanted this final showdown to occur outside the park at a quarry. And Lisa and Joan had asked to kind of utilize the idea of the terraformer that we saw in season one, where Ford bulldozed the agave plantation in front of Teresa. And so we wanted to find a location that would give us that sense of scale, an established industry and infrastructure that would allow for us to kind of build onto. So we provided the control shed amidst this jungle gym and Medusa's nest of wonderful sorting materials to kind of showcase that Delos is creating temperance, but it's also creating additional parks outside the realm. We also did a really cool practical explosion at the quarry. We set off about 60 explosions to bring down the side of the mountain. It was filmed with drones as well as practical cameras and the practical actors there, which was really cool. They're on this voyage in the desert to find this weapon, and when they unveil what that weapon is, it ties in not only to C's story, but obviously into Bernard's story, because the weapon turns out to be Maeve. The large fan that we used to help unearth the head was a practical fan, blows up to 100 miles per hour, and powered by special effects. We actually took a wind machine, and it's one of the 100 mile an hour wind machines that looks a lot like a jet engine, mounted it on a truck and actually practically pushed sand around and uncovered artifacts in the ground. So when C sees Maeve's head in the ground, I think there's a lot of things going on. There's confusion because she recognizes this person, but she can't exactly pull where that recognition is from. And at the same time, this is the weapon that they've been looking for. So there's that, like, we, we found the thing that, that's going to stop this. Caleb isn't here, but that weapon I promised you is. There's a massive reveal with my character that he is no longer alive. And it was a shock to me to find out. 
We always love fucking around a little bit with the audience expectations and our expectations of the pace at which a narrative kind of unfolds. So having carefully set up a season which it seems quite clear that the season will be about preventing Hale from being able to do this thing, we have this delicious moment in which we realize that she's a very formidable enemy and she's already done it. That war is already lost and we're on to a very, very different conflict. You won. Welcome to my world.